the battle was a bloody thing. The singers would have us believe it was all Rhaegar and Robert struggling in the stream for the woman both of them claimed to love. But I assure you, other men were fighting too. They had come together at the ford of the Trident. While the battle crashed around them, Robert with his war hammer and his great antlered helm, the Targaryen prince armored all in black. On his breastplate was the three-headed dragon of his house, wrought all in rubies that flashed like fire in the sunlight. They circled and clashed again and again, until at last a crushing blow from Robert's hammer stove in the dragon and the chest beneath it. Ned had finally come on the scene, Rhaegar lay dead in the stream, while men of both armies scrabbled in the swirling waters for rubies knocked free of his armor. Do you remember the trident, Your Grace? You took a wound from Rhaegar, Ned reminded him. So when the Targaryen host broke and ran, you gave the pursuit into my hands. The remnants of Rhaegar's army fled back to King's Landing. We followed. Ares was in the Red Keep with several thousand loyalists. I expected to find the gates closed to us. The Lion of Lannister flew over the ramparts, not the crowned stag, and they had taken the city by treachery. <laughs> 